I was very young, um, I was 21 when I first found out and it was a routine doctor visit. I did get that phone call from him, um, explained to me that I was HIV positive. Um, at the time, didn't really know a lot about it. And I stopped taking the medicine and kind of shoved it in a drawer and was like out of sight, out of mind. Then eventually I threw the pills in the trash and was like, that man doesn't know what he's talking about. I'm not taking those pills. I felt fine. I was in denial for quite some time and I didn't tell anyone, which I found out later wasn't healthy for me because I then um, went through some mental health issues behind that as well, just suppressing my feelings and not really dealing with it at that time. Close to five years later, I started to have physical signs and symptoms, um, rapid weight loss, uh, fatigue a lot. Dr. Wessel, now she, she calls me her baby. I'm, she's like a mother figure to me, and we still communicate on a regular basis, and she calls me whenever she has programs or things for me to do. I've been getting good health care from ABMS, so um, I've been a um, success story. The Resource Center did empower me. It helped me become a stronger person and a very knowledgeable person about this HIV field. It's opened doors for me, actually, to go out and do a lot of public speaking that I do now. The people that I come in contact with, I do recommend that they come to EVMS just for the things that it's done for me. When I see people when they first come in or they first are diagnosed. I know that it's a very vulnerable time for them. So I try to guide them in a direction that I know is gonna help better their self-esteem and empower them as the same way that it empowered me. If it wasn't for EVMS, I'm not sure how I would be doing right now as far as my health. You know, I was introduced to a lot of people um, that work for EVMS that have helped guide my success. Without those people in place, I could possibly or potentially be one of those people that would be lost to care.